Hey guys, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I use the copy feature within Wibbit's video creation platform in order to create story videos for my business. As always, this video is being sponsored by Wibbit's, the wonderful video creation platform that it is. And I want to shout out to them and thank them so much for sponsoring this video. So let's get to it. I use the video creation platform Wibbit's in order to create content for my social media platforms. Now there are some instances where I will create a video for say, for example, Instagram, and I might want to use that concept of that video for say, for example, LinkedIn stories. So in order for me to do that, I try not to reinvent the wheel and I try to use what I already have. So in this example, I'm going to share with you how I use the copy feature in Wibbits in order to make a copy of an existing video that I have. Now, the main reason why I would use the copy feature is if I've already created an existing video, say, for example, LinkedIn. So let's say I'm using the Instagram one to one format for my LinkedIn video. And now I want to create perhaps a LinkedIn story teaser for that video. So in this example, I'm going to share with you how I make a copy of an existing video and then how I can tweak that video to customize it to my specific needs. So let's get started. So let's take this video as an example. This is a LinkedIn uh, square video that I created and I want to make a copy of this so that I can do a story version, but I'm going to change out the visuals and I might change out the text as well. So in order to make a copy, you need to come down here to the three dots on the left side and click on that and go to make a copy. Now it's going to ask you create a video template. Instead of making a copy, you may want to save this video as a template so that you can use it for future videos. So you can either say me, maybe later, or you can say, yes, I want to add this to my template. So for this example, I'll just say, go ahead and add it to my template. And it's going to then let me know whether it's available um, next time. So I've now made a copy. As you can see, I have two copies here. One says copy, one is the master. So now I'm going to go into the edit feature. And now, as you can see, all of the script is on the left side, broken out by scenes. And then I have my storyboard broken out by visuals. This is still in the same format that I used previously, but now I want to change that format. So I'm going to come up here to the upper left side and I'm going to change my video format to vertical. So I want to do this as a story that I'm ultimately going to use probably on LinkedIn. So I'm going to click that and you can see that it automatically reformats. So if you wanted to use the same exact video, what I would recommend is that you come in and you click on each of the visuals to make sure that you are, let's click on here again, to make sure that it is lined up accordingly. Because remember, this was a, a Instagram square and now we're making it into a vertical. So therefore that means that the visuals are going to need probably some sort of adjusting. So you can use this to either adjust it this way. Maybe I might want to put a little bit more of this in it. I think might make a little bit more sense. And so I can go through each of the visuals and see what I want to do with each of them. So this one, I may only want to use maybe this and I can keep going through them until I get to the end. And I'm not going to go through any, well, actually I'll do this one because I think I need to show a little bit more of the money. So the other thing that you might want to do is you might want to swap out um, some of the visuals that you have. So let's say, for example, uh, let's go back to storyboards. To go back to storyboards, all you had to do was to go back to storyboards. All you have to do is hit the four little squares up here and that'll take you back to 
the storyboard. So from this perspective, you can then say, okay, well, maybe I don't want to use this as my opening. Maybe I want to open with something different. Then you want to come down to media and you will then search through your media and see if there's something else that you can swap this out for. Even if you want to change your text, you can go ahead and say, And then you can change out the visuals. So maybe we might want to use, um, and once you find an appropriate image, you can just swap it out like you've seen me do in previous. So we can do that. And then, um, you know, we can swap out the text and we can swap out the image. So I just really wanted to get give you an idea of how you could go about doing this. Also, don't forget you can swap out the style so if you wanted to do a different style instead of minimal and maybe perhaps you wanted to do notion then you can just click on that and then you can see what this looks like um, this doesn't work because it is a bit too let's see um, Okay, and then you might want to apply to all. It depends. Yeah, okay, so let's, um, I think we did this to 140, and let's do an apply all so that all of it can then fit. So if this is what you wanted to do, you could certainly um, switch up the styles. There's a number of other styles that you can use, and they add in a lot. Um, Almost every time I come in here, I'm seeing something that's been different. So they, they are adding to their styles. And then obviously there is music and you can go through their library of music or you can upload your own music. And then once you're finished, you can click over here to preview and then you can see how that's done. And then when you're finished, you can just hit done and it will render your product or your produce your video and then once you're finished it will let you know that it's finished the other thing that i may not have uh, shown you in the previous video is that you could edit your cover that means the image that you see here in your library you can edit that so you can either pick a video uh, pick an image from the video once it's processed or you can actually upload your own custom a thumbnail image if that's what you feel is necessary to do and the one thing I forgot to do and you can do here is um, I didn't retitle when I did that now the other feature that I will talk about in the neck and then the the other feature that I will speak about in another video is this plan for and you can pick a date and I will talk to you about their planner feature in the next video. So take care and let me know if you have any questions. Once this is finished, you will get notified that it's finished and then um, it will end up in your library as a story video. Okay, so now you can see that it's, <clears throat> now you can see that it's finished and you can just go here and then download this when you are ready. Okay, so take care and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching my video. As always, I truly appreciate your support. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or comments in reference to the content of this video. And as always, please share with me any information that you would want to see on any new videos that I have coming out. As always, like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in using Wibbits for your business, feel free to click the link below. I'll see you in the next video.